Jeremy Shihao Lin, born August 23, 1988, is an American professional basketball player for the Houston Rockets of the National Basketball Association (NBA). After receiving no athletic scholarship offers out of high school and being undrafted out of Harvard University, Lin reached a partially guaranteed contract deal in 2010 with his hometown Golden State Warriors. He seldom played in his rookie season and was assigned to the NBA Development League D League three times. He was waived by the Warriors and the Rockets the following preseason before joining the New York Knicks early in the 2011-12 season. He continued to play sparingly and again spent time in the D League in February 2012. He unexpectedly led a winning streak by New York while being promoted to the starting lineup, which generated a global following known as Lin Sanity. In the summer of 2012, Lin signed a three-year contract with the Rockets. Lin is one of the few Asian Americans in NBA history, and the first American of Chinese or Taiwanese descent, to play in the league. He is also known for his public expression of his Christianity. Lin was born in Los Angeles and raised in a Christian family in the San Francisco Bay Area city or Palo Alto. His parents, Lin Ki-ming and Shirley Lin, emigrated from Taiwan to the United States in the mid-1970s, settling first in Virginia before moving to Indiana, where they both attended universities. They are dual nationals of Taiwan and the U.S. Lin's paternal family comes from Bidu, Chenghua, in Taiwan. His father's distant ancestors were from Zhangpu County. Fujian, in mainland China, and settled in Taiwan in 1707, while his maternal grandmother emigrated to southern Taiwan in the late 1940s from Pingu, Zhejiang in mainland China. Lin's parents are both 5 feet 6 inches, 1.68 meters, tall. His maternal grandmother's family was tall, and her father was over 6 feet, 1.8 meters. Lin has an older brother, Josh, and a younger brother. Joseph Gi Ming taught his sons to play basketball at the local YMCA. Shirley helped form a national junior basketball program in Palo Alto where Lin played. She worked with coaches to ensure his playing did not affect academics. She was criticized by her friends for letting Lin play so much basketball, but she allowed him to play the game he enjoyed. Sean Gregory of Time wrote of Lin's Zero Division I scholarship offers, Lin, was scrawny. But don't doubt that a little racial profiling, intentional or otherwise, contributed to his under-recruitment. Deepen Brooks stated, if, Lin, was African American or Caucasian, it might have been a different deal. He did not think Lin's race affected his recruiting until later seeing 10 Division I coaches express interest in a black student who Deepen Brock assessed as a nice junior college player. Lin said, I'm not saying top 5 state automatically gets you offers, but I do think, my ethnicity, did affect the way coaches recruited me. I think if I were a different race, I would have been treated differently. Walters added, people who don't think stereotypes exist are crazy. If, Lin's, white, he's either a good shooter or heady. If he's Asian, he's good at math. We're not taking him. Deep and Brooks said that people without meaning any harm assume since Lin is Asian that he is not a basketball player. The first time Lin went to a pro-am game in Kiza Pavilion in San Francisco someone there informed him, Sorry, sir, there's no volleyball here tonight. It's basketball. During Lin's college career, fewer than 0.5% of men's Division I basketball players were Asian American. Lin has regularly heard bigoted cheers at games such as Wonton Soup, Sweet and Sour Pork, Open Your Eyes, Go Back to China, Orchestra is on the other side of campus, or pseudo-Chinese gibberish. Lin says this occurred at most if not all Ivy League gyms. He does not react to it. I expect it, I'm used to it, it is what it is, says Lin. The heckling came mostly from opposing fans and not as much from players. According to Harvard teammate Oliver McNally, a fellow Ivy League player once called Lin the ethnic slur chink. In January 2010, Harvard played against Santa Clara University at the Levy Center, just 15 miles from his hometown of Palo Alto, California. Playing to a capacity crowd that included droves of Asian Americans wanting to see his homecoming. His teammates told him, 
It was like Hong Kong. Lin considers himself a basketball player more than just an Asian American. He understands that there have not been many Asians in the NBA. Maybe I can help break the stereotype, said Lin. I feel like Asians in general don't get the respect that we may deserve whether it comes to sports, basketball, or whatever it might be. Prior to the 2010-11 NBA season, Americans of Asian descent who played in the NBA included Wataru Misaka, Raymond Townsend, Corey Gaines, Rex Walters, and Robert Swift. Linz, carrying the hopes of an entire continent. I only had to carry the hopes of Little Rock, Arkansas. He's accomplished a lot more than I have already, said Derek Fisher, who had won five NBA championships with the Lakers. After his first game against Lin, Lin is setting an example for prospective Asian athletes in America who rarely see Asian Americans playing on their favorite teams. I don't look Japanese, Walters said, referring to his mother's ethnicity. When they see, Lin, it's an Asian American. Based on comments he heard that his talents were deceptive, Lin stated in a 2013 60 Minutes interview that it was his gut feeling his ethnicity contributed to his being undrafted. NBA Commissioner David Stern also believed Lin was not drafted due to discrimination. I don't know whether he was discriminated against because he was at Harvard or because he was Asian, said Stern. Some fans and commentators wrote off his Warriors signing as a publicity stunt. Larry Riley, the team's general manager denied catering to the Bay Area's large Asian population. He understood that some people would see it that way. We evaluated him throughout summer league, Riley said. All that had to happen was for him to confirm what we already believed. While the team created a campaign around him, Riley said it would not have been advisable if Lin was not a basketball player first. I know a lot of people say I'm deceptively athletic and deceptively quick and I'm not sure what's deceptive. But it could be the fact that I'm Asian American. But I think that's fine. It's something that I embrace, and it gives me a chip on my shoulder. But I'm very proud to be Asian American and I love it. Jeremy Lin, during 2012 All-Star Weekend interview. On February 10, 2012, in the middle of Lin's career game against the Lakers, Fox Sports columnist Jason Whitlock posted on Twitter. Some lucky lady in NYC is gonna feel a couple inches of pain tonight, a reference to Lin's sexual prowess. Hyphen wrote that Whitlock reinforced the insipid and insidious small Asian penis stereotype. The Asian American Journalists Association demanded an apology. I debased a feel-good sports moment. For that, I'm truly sorry, apologized Whitlock. Boxer Floyd Mayweather, Jr. wrote on his Twitter page. Jeremy Lin is a good player but all the hype is because he's Asian. Black players do what he does every night and don't get the same praise. MPKNewYork.com in response to Mayweather noted that no one of any skin color in the history of basketball has done in their first four starts what Lin pulled off for the Knicks last week. On February 15, the message network during game coverage showed a fan sign of Lin's face above a fortune cookie with the words the Knicks good fortune which some viewed as an ethnic stereotype. Sporting News wrote that the sign was questionable, while CBS News called it distasteful. Some Knicks teammates were criticized for bowing to Lynn during games. On February 17, ESPN used a racial slur on its mobile website in the headline chink in the armor after Lynn had nine turnovers in New York's loss to the Hornets. It was removed 35 minutes later and DSPN apologized. The network fired the employee who posted the headline, and suspended ESP News anchor Max Brettos for using the same reference earlier in the week. Brettos also apologized. Nick's radio announcer Sparrow did also used the phrase on 1050 ESPN New York, but he was an employee of Madison Square Garden message, and not ESPN. He apologized and was disciplined by message. Saturday Night Live and a cold open satirized the puns in reference to Lynn's ethnicity. Three commentators were featured happily making jokes about Lynn's race, while a fourth drew contempt for making similar comments about black players. ESPN received emails suggesting that Lynn was subjected to racial slurs in a manner that African Americans are not. Ben and Jerry's created a frozen yogurt in honor of Lynn named Taste the Lynn Sanity. It contained lychee honey swirls and fortune cookie pieces. 
The company later replaced the fortune cookies with waffle cookies and apologized to anyone offended by their insanity flavor. J. A. Adand of ESPN.com wrote that the heightened ethnic sensitivity toward Asian Americans was another way, Lin's, impact resonates far beyond Madison Square Garden. The Aja released a set of guidelines to the media in response to what it termed as factual inaccuracies about Lin's background as well as an alarming number of references that rely on stereotypes about Asians or Asian Americans. On November 14, 2013, ESPN Sports Center anchor Hawke Andrews apologized on air after commenting that Lin was cooking with some hot peanut oil after Lin's 21-point performance helped Houston to a win over the Knicks. Lin has a YouTube account, and has made videos with YouTube personalities Nigger Higa and Kev Jumba. Lin and former Knicks teammate Landry Fields eventually appeared on a video on Lin's YouTube channel revealing their secret handshake. In a video interview conducted by Ellie Sekbuck, he asked Lin how it felt to be representing so many people. Lin responded by stating, It's humbling, a privilege, and an honor. I'm really proud of being Chinese, I'm really proud of my parents being from Taiwan. I just thank God for the opportunity. In July 2011, the overseas Chinese Vivid magazine named Lin one of its top eight influential Chinese Americans. In April 2012, Lin was named to Time Magazine's 2012 list of the top 100 most influential people in the world. On June 18, 2012, NBA TV announced that Lin was the first ever winner of the Social Breakout Player of the Year award. He was also the winner of the Epic Award. In July 2012, Lin won the ESPN Aspire Award for Breakthrough Athlete of the Year.